Oh, there you are. You're just in time for lab. Let's go. Oh, before we go, I need to check your pre-lab. You won't be admitted into the lab unless it's complete. So make sure you use any resources and materials you need so that you understand all the experiments and all the work that's going to be completed. Um, I'm also going to need to see your student ID and uh, I need you to be wearing closed-toed shoes. Now it's really important that uh, you're on time for lab. Um, students that are late may not be admitted into the lab. And remember, no food, drinks, or cell phones are permitted into the lab at any time. Just bring the bare minimum you need, your lab handout and writing utensils. Come along, let's check out the lab. When working in a lab, it's really important that you familiarize yourself with all the lab protocols and you know the location of all the safety equipment. Let's look around. We have fire extinguishers by each entry door, eye wash bottles by the main lab door for each lab. There are first aid kits on the wall by the cadaver lab door. There's biohazardous waste disposal and broken glass disposal that will be out in the main lab when needed or they're stored in the cadaver lab. We have sharps disposal containers that are out when necessary or in the cadaver lab. And then when we're doing physiology experiments, we may need to do some chemical disposal. Some chemicals can go down the drain Others must be disposed of using special precautions. Be sure to pay attention to the instructions given during the lab talk. For everyone's safety, make sure that you read all the lab protocols when you're working with chemicals and biological materials. You often need to wear personal protective equipment, most commonly gloves, while you're working. Read all of the steps to a procedure before you begin an experiment. You will not have enough time to restart experiments if you miss key steps. If at any time you have any questions or you're unsure of any of the instructions, please just ask one of your instructors. We're here to help. The anatomy and physiology labs are attached to a cadaver lab. This incredible experience is only possible because of the gracious gifts of people who donated their bodies to science for us to learn. Before you enter into this lab, you must agree to abide by a code of conduct that outlines the respect required for learning in this space. Rules and regulations are set out in accordance with the Chief Coroner of Ontario, and this includes that no pictures are taken in any of the laboratory spaces. Lastly, remember to take full advantage of your time here in the lab. This is truly a unique experiential learning opportunity. Thanks for coming along the journey and have a great semester.